my thoughts on confidence. To be fair, confidence is honestly a mentality more than anything else. Like it's always been a mentality. It's less, it's less about what you look like or what others think or whatever. It's more about your mentality, what you think of yourself, what's going on with you. Like how do you choose to live regardless of how everybody sees you? Nobody, nobody has as much of an effect on you as you do on yourself. Baby girl, she keep on calling. If there's a time, a place, or day where she can stop with the story, she said, Meet me on a Monday. Then she postponed it to Sunday. Oh, why she do with me like this? Can't be me that she fooled Growing up the way that I did. You would think I would grow up insecure and unsure of myself. I grew up in Kuwait, I grew up in a country where it was so small, so Arab that I stood out like a sore thumb from the way that I just looked. No, nothing else, the way that I looked. So, you know, I was picked on, bullied. I fought people over the way that I look. I've been in positions and situations where it's like, I should be growing up insecure and unsure of myself or whatever, but I don't know if that helped me with my confidence or if I just kind of just thought, fuck it, like nobody else is gonna do it for me. I may as well do it for myself. I may as well be happy with myself. So my confidence really comes from me being aware of myself and happy with myself and you know, choosing to think positively about myself regardless of what situation I'm in, regardless of what's happening. And it just really comes from me me as a person, I'm, I've got a lot of convi conviction when it comes to what I want to do. That's why I do what I want to, regardless of what people think. I will get piercings whenever I want to. I will dress however I want to. I will behave however I want to. I will go and live in other countries just because I, I felt like it at that time. You know, this whole, even this whole modeling thing, I did not plan on that happening at all. I've avoided it for so long because I didn't want to be in this industry. But in all honesty, the reason I didn't want to be in this industry is because I didn't want to be in it when I wasn't confident with myself. The fear of rejection, you know? I didn't know if I went into it and I was rejected, how I would react. But when I went into it, when I was confident and I was like, all right, listen, regardless if you want me or not, if you like me or not, if you want me for your label to shoot for your label or not, I'm gonna be all right and I'm gonna carry on doing what I'm doing and you know I may not be the particular look that you're looking for I may not be the particular person that you're looking for I may not be the person that you're looking for at all I'm gonna be fine regardless of my inspirations are definitely 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 my mom and my sisters those are three people in my life that I've always always had the greatest respect for I've always had the greatest admiration for and it's simply because of how driven and how sure they are of themselves. When people start to tell me that I inspire them through my confidence in who I am, it's crazy to me because that's how I look at my sisters. So I don't know how, not that I don't know how I feel about it, I feel great about it and I'm happy that people are you know, fighting confidence through my confidence and who I am and how I behave and how, I am with myself and how I think about myself so that's like I don't know like I don't really have a word for it but it's just mental it's crazy it doesn't you know sometimes it doesn't register because I just feel like I'm just being me and I'm just going through life as myself and I'm sharing it with the world be present be present with yourself take time to be self-aware and that's gonna take so long that's gonna be a brutal process I've gone through it it's a long, brutal process that isn't always nice. It's not always nice. To get to the point that I'm at, I had to go through so much shit, and I had to deal with so much shit with myself, mentally, emotionally, to get to the point that I'm at. So that's gonna take time. And take your time with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be patient. You know, self-love isn't just, oh, I look great today. So no, self-love is really dealing with yourself and having no shame in saying that you're wrong. So, with that, be loving and be respectful and be appreciative. And just don't, 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 whatever you do, don't go stealing shit from people, please. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>
I rely on you, baby. 